We got the bumper installed with the new rigid lights and this whole package is looking really slick. I bet these things are going to be super bright. All right, I see everybody making comments, dogging on me about the poke on this car. There's a couple things working against me that was a little bit unavoidable. Number one being WiseFab, which uh, creates a much wider stance to be able to get the steering angle that that stuff gets, which is almost 90 degrees and absolutely insane so that you can back your car into corners, which is a lot more fun than giving a crap about what your front end looks like. Number two is the conversion spaces that adapted the factory FRS bolt pattern, which is 5x100 to the 5x114.3, which is a little bit more standard and popular in most wheel sizes. Third, the FRS has wide frame rails to accommodate the flat four boxer engine. With all that combined and created a ton of poke, but with these new fenders, a fresh set of wheels, hopefully a trolling will stop. Now I know this might not look like it, but this is actually the Blue 370Z from Drift Garage Season 2. I pulled the motor and sent it down to Forge Performance to get a BC Stroker kit and JE Pistons installed to really handle some higher boost levels. And we stripped out the interior and got this chassis fully race prepped. I got a fuel safe fuel cell mounted in the back along with a Mishimona dual pass radiator so that we get nice cool fresh air coming in from the back of the car away from all the engine heat. And it also puts a little extra weight over the rear axle which is exactly where we we want it. And you'll also notice that we cut the whole back of the car off because, you know, we like to put these things on the wall, we get a lot of crash damage, so you remove all that extra sheet metal that's totally unnecessary. And we got these aluminum bash bars in place, so if we get into the wall, we can take them off, replace them, and keep going. So, I mean, I guess you could say that these things can only stay a street car for so long. This isn't a brake and fix, this is preventing a brake and fix. You're running your car all day on the track, it's running hot, it's gonna create some air bubbles. You're gonna wanna check the fluid level in the radiator, put some coolant in and re-bleed the system if it's low. Now obviously the oil is the lifeblood of your engine, so you're gonna wanna make sure that that is fresh for every track event. And you can even check your filter to see if there's any debris of premature engine failure. Man, I am super stoked with how this truck came out. It is the perfect combination of nice, easy bolt-ons, but also some personal flair to really make it my own. Turk, how'd your FRS come out? FRS came out pretty sweet. The thing is making 550, but it's capable of 800. I'm thinking... Uh, yeah, a little more time on the dyno. I think you can crank it up. I think it might be time to retire the streetcar scenario and... Oh, really? Finally own up to the oh, race so, car? So you're finally admitting that this might not be a street car? Well, I'll just call it the race car for the street. Well, it looks like I gotta finish getting my 370Z off the street and on the track. Let's party.
Well, here it is. We got the Titan XD out in the wild, and this thing is amazing. It tows like a dream. I got my new trailer hooked up, my M loaded up, and we just drove 600 miles north all the way up to Maine to film a new episode of Turk that's gonna be coming out soon. But you know, I didn't build this truck just to tow cars around. I also built it to have some fun. Apparently you can just make your own roads if you drive in the middle of a lake. <laughs> 